101,113 miles. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlogs, guys. Uh, my name's Kyle. This is my 2014 Tesla Model S P85 if you're new. Um, but we're well over 100,000 miles. Well, not well over, but uh, you know, we're over a thousand miles over 100,000 miles on this car. Uh, yeah, so that means no more warranty, none of that stuff. But it is Tesla Talk Tuesday, so I thought we would start off with that and go from there. Um, yeah, I've been charging this thing off of an RV at around two miles of range an hour, so it's not great. The closest supercharger is about 20 minutes away, 25 minutes away, 30 minutes away, something like that. It's up in Sarasota. I'm down in Venice. But uh, yes, I drove from Maryland down to here. If you haven't seen that vlog, check it out. Thousand mile road trip. Uh, it's a little long, so I don't blame you if you want to skip through some parts of it, but I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, anyways, it's it, it's Tesla Talk Tuesday, so um, I, I guess we'll, we'll clearly start off once again with Tesla just hitting all-time highs. Uh, yesterday, uh, one of some analysts raised their price target to like $612 a share. Stock skyrocketed like 40 points from $470-some to like $520. So, I mean, all I can say is I'm just happy that uh, Elon didn't take the stock private at $420 a share because we were over $100 higher than that share price. So, uh, things were looking good this morning. I think it was up another 20 points pre-market. I, I don't really know where it's trading right now, to be honest. Uh, it's just been a little busy today. Had some snafus with the RV, but let's not get into that because let's just say it didn't smell great. But it wasn't It wasn't the, uh, the black. There's great. Anyways, um, Tesla Talk Tuesday. So, Tesla's trading at all-time highs. The stocks are fantastic. Uh, my car is still trucking along at 101,114 miles. And, well, we need to figure out what the next car is going to be at some point. At some point. Um, but for now, this car is doing its thing. It's doing great. But Tesla's might start talking to people. Elon recently posted a video of... Uh... I think it was a Model 3 that said, uh, like, it sounded like a British accent type voice that said, like, uh, stop staring, hop in, or whatever. But it's very interesting. I'll try to, I'll try to post it here. But if you haven't seen it, go, go check out his Twitter nonetheless. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. But I think part of that is because the US and I believe the EU might have already done this, but they're basically imposing rules and regulations where electric vehicles will have to emit noise below a certain speed. And this is just for a safety measure so that pedestrians are aware of the cars, uh, if there's blind people, anything like that. It just, it helps people become more aware. I mean, I'm, I drive through parking lots now, and people have no idea I'm coming up on them. I don't really want to honk, because it's, it's very aggressive. I mean, I guess I, I could if I need to, um, but eventually someone sees me and then they tell the other person to get out of the way. But it is it is quite funny sometimes, but uh, I understand why they want to do that for safety reasons. So obviously Elon is going to take it to the next level and make the cars able to talk. Um, so I assume there's going to be some sort of external speaker. Maybe there already is on the car. Either way, it's it's going to be interesting stuff. And well, he said, yes, they will be able to talk and it will also be able to fart at people. So if you guys haven't seen it already, there is a whoopee cushion feature in the Tesla. And well, you can make it fart around the car and it gets triggered by different things in the car, such as a blinker. There's different things to set them off, but you can make the cars fart. So you just hit the whoopee cushion. You let that bring up emissions testing mode. You go ahead and do uh, fart on demand or fart on turn signal. So fart on demand is if you press the left steering scroll wheel. So that would be that bad boy right there. Or when you put the turn signal on. Um, now you can do random or you can do different types of farts here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead with random and just see what happens if you turn this off now. And we go ahead and hit the blinker. Oh! Whoa! There, yep. Yep, there we go. Now the other thing is we can just click the scroll wheel. What? Ready? And one more. That'll do it, that'll do it. And let's just throw the blinker on. Oh, that was a quickie. Anyway, oh. ah, yep, it just keeps, just keeps going. There we go. 
Oh, I don't know. There's, there's, there's more? Okay. I think the blinker's, yep, blinker's still on. Yep. Okay. Okay. Blinkers off. All right. But anyways, uh, I, I I mean, you gotta love Elon for that. Like he has he has fun with it. These cars are a ton of fun. They're fantastic to drive, and well, just like, I mean, fun little things like that. Like why not? The kids love it. It's hilarious, and uh, it's a neat little party. Just put the blinker up. Anyways, uh, yes, so there is that, but the cars will be able to talk, actually emit noise outside of the vehicle. Um, and well, if you have to make it make a weird noise for pedestrian safety, why not also let the cars talk? Because hey, he's Elon Musk and uh, he's the CEO of Tesla and he can kind of do what he wants. So it is very cool to see him doing this stuff and just sort of not just doing it to comply with regulation, but doing it in a fun, spirited, interesting way. So very cool. Something I read recently is quite strange, but sup supposedly GM is gonna revive. I should probably turn that. I should probably turn that off. Supposedly GM is gonna revive the Hummer in an electric form with the help of LeBron James. So this should be an interesting venture. Very interesting to see. They're gonna be large cars and uh, well, making an EV battery in a non-aerodynamic vehicle that's that large is not gonna be great. So I'm, I'll be interested to see what actually happens going here. But um, I mean, it would be neat to see like the actual like H1 Hummers, those like Humvees brought back. I was never really a fan of the H2 or H3s. So, um, you know, I, I don't know where they're going with this, how many different variants they'll do, uh, if they'll actually sell, what the specs are. But either way, it is neat to see that clearly evs are the way of the future and and that's what people want these days uh so i think as more and more people get in these cars and drive them they realize how great they are especially if they get in teslas i can't say the same about like nissan leafs or bolts or i3s because i honestly think they're kind of garbage but as far as tesla goes they are they are pretty fantastic cars uh i can't wait to see um the new, what is it, the Fisker Ocean, uh, the Porsche Taycan, the Audi e-tron, the Jaguar I-Pace. Like, after these cars have been out for two or three years, I'll be interested to see, like, can they actually improve these cars significantly? And, uh, well, I guess what customer experience is like on these cars long term because, well, so far, people, I think, love their Teslas. They hate the service after the fact. So if they have a problem with their Tesla or they were in an accident or even somebody hit them, it wasn't even their fault, just getting things fixed it can be a pain sometimes just because parts are in such high demand and while Tesla's just trying to crank out cars they're not really making a ton of just like extra parts for people and I think that's where part of this backlog comes from but um, anyways I think we're actually going to keep it really quick because well I'm obviously having troubles cranking out uh, vlogs due to the fact that I have limited Wi-Fi so so if you guys are enjoying the content please consider liking and subscribing and until next time Thanks for watching, guys.